Hello? Exciting times because I have now got myself the new yak. It's here, just been delivered, and I'm gonna unpack it. Just trip myself to the old supernova. The uh, sturgeon is being packed up, ready to be sold, and uh, this is my new toy. So I'm going to be unpacking this, um, getting the build up, and hopefully get out for the weekend, because I've got a nice four-day weekend coming up, and hopefully get out and test this bad boy out. Anyway, so that's the uh, unwrapping done, and as you can see, it's an absolute beast of a boat, like, absolutely stunning. A lot deeper than what the, uh, the sturgeon is. It's going to take a little while to get it all together. I'll have a go. Could be a screwdriver ready. Massive storage, massive storage. Yeah, transducer hole. See the little spot down there. I'm presuming they're just uh, extra cables for the uh, for the sides. There's a bit of railage. I think it's just a transportation that is. Something I'm gonna get to get used to. This little steering handle there. Different, very different. Got the motor for it. The motor's going in, I'm gonna try that to start with. Um seat and what you see seat, so that's gonna be a another challenge. Um this is the battery box. So that Little motor, which I will set up in a bit. That's the bag of goodies. Um, I know what's in there it's the rod holders and the star ports, the rudder, um, and all the other bits. These are for the seats, which I believe. Um, go along here somewhere. Yeah, I've seen, uh, seen how Chris has done his. Yeah, it's going to take me a little while to build this. Um, I will do a bit at a time, I'll record it at a time. The old rudder, yeah, absolute gorgeous boat. Like, going for this color, um, because I just think it looks stunning, really. Um, the last one I had was Galaxy Sturgeon, which was pebble blue. Um, again, though, beautiful kayak, St sturgeons are solid as hell, but uh, just came up with the rest of them and their paddle boats or the uh. The, the pedal, I should say, the, the pedal kayaks and the, the, the kayaks with motors on just came up with them, so I thought, why not join them? Why not join them? But that's it, I'll uh, put it on stop for now and uh, I'm one happy fella now. Got the uh, the ultimate the ultimate kayak, in my opinion. So I'm going to build it up and I will show you what it's like when it's all done. So see you in a few moments. Yeah, boy. Do 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 do. Do these things here. I believe these are stainless, and I will be keeping all of these. Very useful. Keep 
them to one side and here for no option. Looks comfy. Before you comment, um, yeah, the grass needs cutting. That will be done, but uh, not today because I'm, I'm playing with my new toy. So yeah, the uh, pedal drive. I've got the pedal drive for it, which uh, comes as standard. But I've also purchased the. Um, the motor. Got one side. Don't need that here. Right. All of these ones um, on the sturgeon, they were um, quite a loose fabric one. Strong still, but these are even strong.
Finally got the uh, thing in. The split pin as well. Right, it's in. Presume that means it's locked. Yeah. This I'm gonna have to get used to is getting the the shaft pop up there. So anyway, my new toys arrived. Um, the Striker 7SV, the Garmin version, um, which I'm quite happy about because this is uh, an X display model. I uh, got it from eBay and it was nearly less than half the price than what it should be. So I'm one happy chappy with this, like, um, just about to install it onto the uh, onto my kayak which uh, I've just finished setting up um, nearly anyway so I'm going to quickly uh, install this which hopefully should be straightforward fingers crossed right, all the bits out all the, in the manual Use the old, uh, the wife's very modern iron as a paperweight. Because uh, the wind's picked up. A few screws in there, I'm not too sure what they're for just yet. mount star blade, uh, rail blazer star mount oh, the brackets. all the connectors cables And the transducer, which is what I'm going to be installing now. And the head unit itself, which uh, I'm quite happy about the size of it as well. Absolutely stunning bit of kit, like, can't wait to get it out on the water and try it out. So anyway, there enough for now. Let's see how this goes. Just head back to the kayak and get this installed in there. So I've got the uh, the FX upside down for a bit. That's what I'm taking off.
So hopefully straightforward, eh? Let's have a look. Fingers crossed, that should go straight in. Just have a look at the fittings. So thankfully, I don't have to do any modifications. Uh, that looks like it's going to go straight in using just a Phillips screwdriver. So I'm just going to install, uh, attach this onto the uh, transducer itself, the fitting. Is cutting, and I would hate to lose one of these. Tighten them up in a second. So that's what the uh, all the pack of nuts were for. Um, to attach these two together. Oh, you. Anyway, like I said, I wouldn't have to do any modifications, but I've had to do a slight one. Um, it's a bit lower than what I would normally like to have this transducer. So, um, as a temporary measure, I've just put a couple of stainless steel bolts in there just to elevate it. Um, and I will see how it works, and if it doesn't work as good as what I wanted to do, uh, wanted to do, I'll. Uh, I'll try and get it raised, but yeah, I like to have it flushed, but it's uh, sitting about two inches below. But yeah, apart from that, I think I'm happy. I'm happy with that. See, I've just slightly fed through the line um, through, so it's not a bit of a faff getting it underneath. But yeah, see how it goes. Sturdy enough. Anyway, so that's the uh, cabling fed through as well, nice and secure. Put the cover back on because I'm not too sure if this has to stay on um, while the transducer is uh, fitted. So I will pour it on. Um, if I do get an interference, I will take it off at a later date. Once I've got this on, I'll uh, turn it over and. Uh, the finder itself. There we go, right way around. Let's get this open. Tie up the uh, the excess cable in. So I've attached the uh, stand onto the rod holder, the rail blazer start point thing. Um, so I'm just going to um, 
connect it all up and uh, see what it looks like. Screws, that's what I need. Some movies. Yeah, I think it's better. Not over tight. Uh, lovely. Nice big screen. Nice big screen on that. Some good reviews of. There's some good reviews on it as well, which is, uh, apart from the price, is another thing that swayed me towards this model. Take the extension off. It should sit on there just nicely. There you have it. Any tiny little light bulbs here? Yeah, beast of a kit like. So I'll uh, just wire the battery on and see what it looks like while it's turned on. Let's rest you on there for a bit. Connect these two together. Like that. Now, see. And gladly, it has got the uh, little groove there for the wire to fit through. Yeah, just making sure that the, uh, I don't know if you can see them there, two little grooves, which will mark just for the side view. Just make sure they're lined up. And also, that one little notch there, which I, again, just for the, the one groove. Glady these um, plugs, very 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 flexible, uh, which I do love, which means um, you don't have to make any alterations to uh, secure that cabling. Just push straight in there, making that good and watertight. Absolutely buzzing with that. Gone in the treat. Battery came today as well. Um, Life Pro 4 rechargeable, 12 volts, 7.2 amps. Um, 
again good reviews with these it's fully charged um, and I believe that you don't have to charge these many times uh, they do hold the charge quite well uh, I bet you can get quite a few trips out of these batteries so well worth a purchase They're only 27 pound 27 pound 25 something like that from uh, from Gumtree they're yeah, not Gumtree sorry um, Amazon so I'm just gonna quickly connect it and uh, see what it's like there you go installed turn this thing on hopefully hold the button down oh here you go oh there you go spot on Yes, yeah, so now that's installed, um, I will find a, a better little way to sort of keep the battery from rattling about um, inside the, the, the front hatch while I'm out in the water. Um, but now the uh, the next thing that I do have to do um, at some stage is to sort this out for the propel motor which means I've got to drill little holes in this out for that to fit in and uh, I'll be quite frank I am sort of bricking it because I thought of putting a hole in the kayak especially in new one sort of uh, frightens me a lot but uh, it has to be done and then uh, got to feed the wiring through into the battery hatch and again the hole in here for said cable and to come through but that's another day but for now I'm wrapping this one up and uh, I'll add the rest of the content on later so bye for now Right, the, um, the time has come now where I'm going to have to uh, drill a couple of holes in the kayak, which um, I am a bit sceptical and very scared about. Um, but I'm only doing this so I can install the um, Propel uh, motor, um, which means six screw holes to drill and a bit out of here and here. will be the housing for that which is what the propel will attach to and that will feed underneath the hole and into the battery compartment and again I will have to drill a hole in here um, again keep that watertight so I am breaking it I'll be honest with you I am breaking it An expensive kayak um, it's gonna be my first time trying this but if I don't do it I'm never going to get it done, so fingers crossed and uh, wish me luck I'm going in and there you go scary, scary little tiny, smaller drill compared to the screws, just to keep it nice and tight tiny little hole you can see I'm got the old shakes, which is totally understandable.
Right, that's the little screw holes, which is going to be spot on. Right. And next. Right. Go for the big hole. As you see, I've just uh, made a little uh, tiny hole there to give me a little starter. Um, so, yeah. So, now or never. Anyway, it's in. So all I've got left to do now is um, a couple of holes for these which is in that bit there. First, all right. Yes, yeah, sir. It's over this side, I think. Yeah, I'm glad I looked. Glad I looked. It's that way around. Right, so I've marked where I need to drill these two holes. So using so I shall point on it let's uh, get this oven done with right here we go Do what I'm just gonna 
and check that first. <laughs> the one's going too high. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's about spot on. Have a look, see if uh, it's all right. Right, Finn. Turn that around. Turn around. Yeah, that is actually spot on. Just need to make that hole just a little bit wider because of the uh, the gelling and the glue. Along here. Anyway, I think I've got it just about right now. Um, what I've had to do, because I didn't want to make them holes any bigger, um, I found it was the amount of uh, glue that was on here was uh, receding right away. So I've just took a little bit away um, from the sides so it does fit there just nicely. So I've got a little gasket on there as well and um, I will be building this up with uh, a good sealant to make it nice and watertight but that's done now all that's to be done now is to uh, get the hole in the back in the, in the battery compartment so let's go for that now so yeah it's a deep hole a bit here so ideally, I think I'm going to be, because that's quite, uh, quite thick there, my incision about here, just off the floor. I think that's probably the best. So let's get that done. So we'll make a um, small hole first. Um, it's a, a bit thinner than the uh, out here, like, but uh, uh, there we go. See, so not much to that at all. <clears throat> And there we have it. Kayak full of holes. Now the next challenge is to feed that from there up to here. So I will be messing about with this for a bit, so I will leave it here for now and uh, I will show you the end result. I will be faffing on.
Bakana bed. Anyway, so what I've done, um, I used the uh, the bungee cord, which was a spa in the spare pack uh, when the uh, I got first sold up the kayak. There was uh, some spare parts there, so I've used the bungee. I fed the bungee cord through, and using a torch, found it where it was, and I've used this little uh, thing I've just knocked up. A little skewer, a bit of blue tack, and a small hook. And I've reached down to pull the cable up, get the bungee cord. So I'm now there, into the back. I'm just going to feed the cable through. And there we have it. Oh, glad that worked. <laughs> Buzzing. First time. I think I've cracked it. Um, all I've got to do now is put a little grommet on here. Um, get this all fitted up. Um, plenty of seal on it. So I'll do that now. And I'll leave that for 24 hours. And it should be ready for tomorrow. Let's get this set up Look at that. And the last one. There we go. Solid. Nice bit of seal around it. Happy. Very happy. Anyway, to the back. Get a bit of sealant on there as well. There we go.
sugar. A little grommet in there and I've sealed the rest with some silicon. Again, don't think you have to, but it's my choice, my peace of mind. Uh, and I'm happy with what I've done. I really am. Happy as a pig in um, mud. That'll do. Anyway, I'm going to leave this now for 24 hours. Um, back on my last night shift tonight, so hopefully this will be dry and I can get out. Maybe it's tomorrow evening or maybe it's Wednesday, depending on the weather. But for now, screw in a coup. canoe is a happy man. I'm out of here for a bit. See you in a bit. And there we have it. All complete. Wired up. Ready to go. So we've got power. So we've actually got it mounted on the uh, kayak now. So. There's five speeds on this, five forward, and then there's two speeds in reverse. And I'm hoping to get it out today for a little bit and see how it uh, performs. And this is a full setup. Take you around. Storage with the uh, battery in for the gold, uh, the fish finder. Rod, rod rest. And be off of uh, real blows, part of the uh, package. Water. <laughs> Steering column. There you have it, it's my little new toy. Galaxy Kayaks Supernova FX, rare and a glove. Anyway, I'm out on the, uh, the new Supernova. Um, got the old Propel water on it. I thought I'd see what it's, uh, see what it's like. So all the fuss is about. Yeah, man. I'm, uh, I'm happy with it. Yeah, it makes a bit of fun, I like it. I don't think I'm going to be doing nothing with it today. Just getting the feel for this kayak. Proper stable, really is stable. So I'm just, um, like I say, mooching about. Getting the feel for it. 